In this episode, I will examine what is behind China-Africa cooperation in the 21st century, if truly China's presence and interaction in Africa brings better infrastructure, more jobs, sustainable development, above all if indeed China has answered Africa's call. Contrary to what Western commentators would let us believe about China in Africa, even the United States or EU countries cannot boost a single infrastructure in Africa. Their approach has been very simple, blame Russia and China and preach democracy. To make no mistake, over the past four decades, China has experienced enormous economic growth to become the world's second largest economy based on nominal GDP. During this time, China's economy transformed from a centrally organized system to an increasingly open market-oriented entity. However, average per capita GDP in China is still lower than in major developed countries, which indicates that China still has potential for future growth. That's why African countries can copy directly from the Chinese playbook. Please like and share the video with your network. Between 2000 and 2020, China helped African countries build 13,000 plus kilometer long railways, nearly 100,000 kilometers of highways, about 1,000 bridges, nearly 100 ports, and more than 80 large scale power facilities. Since the creation of the FOCAC in 2000 China, Africa relations have continued to grow, particularly in the economic, industrial, and agricultural and diplomatic areas. China has been Africa's largest trading partner for 13 consecutive years by the end of 2021. China has promised to provide zero tariff treatment on 98% of taxable items originating in the least developed countries. Having seen African people benefit from the decades-long cooperation with China, which ushered in newer infrastructure, more job chances and greater momentum for the continent's sustainable development. According to the Malian Foreign Minister Abdullah Diab, he termed China-Africa partnership a friendly cooperation between brothers. Indeed, a slew of cooperation projects and productive mechanisms for equal dialogue have all become clear proof of China-Africa cooperation that is carried out in line with the principles of sincerity, real results, affinity, and good faith, and with commitment to the greater good and shared interests. Instead of blaming the European Union or the United States of America, China focused on its core strength on providing answers to Africa infrastructure solutions, cutting out the noise of geopolitical disgust. Today, the outcomes of China-Africa cooperation are all over the African continent. The roads, railways, airports, ports, high-rise buildings, stadiums, and other structures that China helped build can be seen everywhere and anytime. It's between 2000 and 2020, China helped African countries build 13,000 plus kilometer long railways, nearly 100,000 kilometers of highways, about 1,000 bridges, nearly 100 ports, and more than 80 large scale power facilities. China has also aided the construction of more than 130 medical facilities, 45 sports venues, and more than 170 schools, trained more than 160,000 professionals across various fields, and created more than 4.5 million jobs for Africa if you look at the African Development Bank data. Since the existing infrastructure gap acts as a drag on Africa's economic growth, Cooperation in upgrading infrastructure is of relevance for the continent. The African Development Bank reckoned that improved infrastructure would facilitate Africa's domestic and international trade, reduce business costs, and enhance competitiveness, both as an exporter and an investment destination. In this regard, China has been playing a significant role. In 2020, for instance, Chinese firms were responsible for 31% of all infrastructure projects in Africa with a value of 50 million US dollars or more based on a Deloitte consultancy report. Investment in African infrastructure is a global public good in the context of the worldwide significance of Africa's demographic evolution and its necessary productive transformation, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development said in a report. China has been providing public goods through its cooperation with Africa despite COVID-19 disruptions. After the onset of the pandemic, Chinese and local staff were struggling to overcome difficulties to keep more than 1,100 cooperation projects running consistently 
and the implementation rate of the outcomes of the forum on China-Africa cooperation. The cooperation for Beijing summit has exceeded 70%. An example was the Robert Mugabe International Airport recently completed. Describing Africa's infrastructure achievements as an illustration of the win-win partnership with China, Dio, the Malian minister, said since the creation of the FOCAC in 2000, China-Africa relations have continued to grow, particularly in the economic, industrial, and agricultural and diplomatic areas. During the eighth ministerial conference of the FOCA, held in Senegal in November 2021, China pledged to jointly roll out nine programs with African countries and upgrade China-Africa cooperation in various fields, including medical and healthcare, improvement of people's livelihood, green development, digital economy, and capacity building. In the Dhaka Declaration issued during the conference, China welcomes and encourages African countries to join the Belt and Road Cooperation. Over the past years, the China proposed Belt and Road Initiative BRI has helped enhance infrastructure connectivity across the continent and boost intra-African trade in the long run. It has become even more attractive to Africans, given that China has aligned the initiative with the Agenda 2063, an economic blueprint proposed by the African Union. In Kenya, for instance, the 480-kilometer long Mombasa-Nairobi standard gauge railway financed and built by China has greatly facilitated the movement of goods and passengers. As one of the flagship BRI projects, it is the first modern railway built in Kenya in the past century, also the country's largest infrastructure project since its independence in 1963. China-Africa cooperation in trade and investment has helped to create a booming job market in Africa since 2017. China's imports in services from Africa have been growing at an average annual rate of 20%, creating close to 400,000 jobs for the continent every year, according to documents from China and Africa in the New Era, a partnership of equals released by China in November 2021. Chinese private companies have become the main investment force in Africa. With more than 80% of their employees being locals, they have created millions of jobs. By the end of 2020, China has established over 3,500 companies across Africa. Increased investment and upgraded infrastructure drive the growth of various industries, naturally generating more jobs. For example, when it comes to a 56.5-kilometer long asphalt road, recently completed by the China Communications Construction Company in Ethiopia's Oromia region. The local government said it believes that it will not only facilitate the transportation of agricultural products, but more importantly, to unleash the potential of tourism, a catalyst for job growth and economic prosperity. Not coincidentally, the 1344-kilometer-long Benguela Railway constructed by the China Railway 20 Bureau Group Corporation in Angola has delivered win-win outcomes. Chinese enterprises have provided technology, experience, and standards to Africa, while local employees have acquired jobs, skill training, and higher income. The above-mentioned Mombasa Nairobi Railway has also created 46,000 direct and indirect jobs for local communities. On top of the impressive achievements made through their cooperation in the past decades, China is continuing to play a key role in fast-tracking Africa's development and lending support to the sustainable development of the continent. China has been Africa's largest trading partner for 13 consecutive years. By the end of 2021, China has promised to provide zero-tariff treatment on 98% of taxable items originating in the least developed countries, including Togo, Djibouti, and Rwanda, and has become Africa's second-largest agricultural export destination. The biggest feature of China-Africa cooperation is mutual benefit and common development. In these turbulent and changing times, observers are still optimistic that flourishing China-Africa cooperation will withstand the test of time and bring more mutual benefits for both sides through synergy between their development plans. As for China's solutions to global issues, I'm impressed most by the Global Development Initiative, GDI and the Global Security Initiative. 
GSI. They are in line with the current international calls and the UN Sustainable Development Goals and are also significant to the African continent, said David Manyea, director of the Center for Africa-China Studies at the University of Johannesburg. China is helping African countries upgrade their infrastructure from telecom networks to high-speed railways as the world's second largest economy brings cash and technologies to the continent. China's investment in Africa has continued to grow as it has remained the continent's largest trading partner for 14 consecutive years, according to a report released by the Chinese Academy of International Trade and Economic Cooperation recently. The report was presented at the Third China-Africa Economic and Trade Expo recently. The report said China's direct investment in Africa exceeded $47 billion, over 70% of which is invested in construction, mining and manufacturing businesses. Africa is the second biggest market for Chinese contractors, generating new deals worth over $73.2 billion in 2022. Most of the projects are in the transportation construction, general construction, and electricity construction sectors. Data from 2020 shows China-Africa cooperation has yielded an array of results, including over 13,000 kilometers of roads and railways, and more than 80 large-scale electricity infrastructure projects. It benefited over 160,000 residents who were trained for different sectors as well. China has used transportation networks as focus. Back in 2015, China and the African Union signed an agreement aiming to boost the construction of railways and highways, as well as regional aviation networks, which are essential to elevating economic and trade exchanges in Africa. In the following five years, the total investment in Africa's infrastructure projects reached nearly $200 billion, as data from African Development Bank shows. Ethiopia is one of the many examples of infrastructure cooperation, as China is contracted to build a modern electric railway and high expressway in Ethiopia, both of which are the country's first. The 752.7 kilometer Addis Ababa Djibouti railway, connecting the capitals of Ethiopia and Djibouti, is the first electric railway a Chinese company has constructed outside of China with full Chinese standards and all Chinese components. It started commercial operation in 2018, which shortened the trip from days to just a dozen hours, cutting down the freight cost by 30%. As I close this episode, since 2000, Chinese companies have participated in the construction and upgrade of more than 10,000 kilometers of railways, nearly 100,000 kilometers of highways, nearly 1,000 bridges, 100 ports, and 66,000 kilometers of power transmission and distribution lines in Africa. In addition, China also helped build up multiple special economic and trade cooperation zones and industrial parks in Africa to accelerate local industrialization, attracting Chinese companies and others to invest. Local operations for production and processing have been set up, providing increasing jobs to the locals and tax revenue, speeding up local industrialization and technology cooperation. For example, in April, China's telecommunication Giant Huawei announced its 5G Jittle Cement Factory project in Uganda with a local telecom operator and cement company. It's the first case of 5G technology being applied to Uganda's manufacturing industry. The project can boost production efficiency and provide real-time monitoring of daily operations. China has helped 18 African countries establish 20 centers in various medical specialties, expanding from cardiology and critical care medicine to trauma and endoscopy. China also established cooperation with 45 hospitals in 40 African countries. China also worked with African nations to build a slew of collaborative research centers and labs. In Egypt, China helped build a center for satellite assembly, integration, and testing. The cooperation between China and Africa is expected to grow closer and expand to more sectors. According to the China-Africa Cooperation Vision 2035, China-Africa annual trade is expected to reach $300 billion in 2035. China will also invest another $60 billion in Africa by 2035, especially in support of African agriculture, manufacturing infrastructure, environmental protection, digital economy, 
and blue economy. We want to thank you for watching. Let us know what China has done in your country infrastructurally and why you feel China has answered Africa's pressing needs. We are looking forward to meeting you again.